What's up guys? Today I want to show you something that I've been working on very different from the rest of my content. This is more on the wholesome content side of my channel. Um, just a hobby that I've had and that I wanted to share with you guys in case it's something that you want to try out. But some of you know that I paint in my free time for just leisure purposes, therapeutic, cathartic purposes. It's something I started during COVID, during the pandemic. Uh, I feel like a lot of people discovered new hobbies during the pandemic, things to just get their mind off of work stress, the stress of being stuck at home, right? Instead of just sitting on the couch watching more TV, uh, it was something creative to do that uh, is very mindless, but you're creating something and, and you don't know how it's going to look, right? So that was part of, it is part of the fun. And something recently that I've been doing more is essentially paint by numbers. The ones I'm going to show you today are not actually from the brand paint by numbers, but it's the same idea. If you're not familiar with paint by numbers, uh, it's basically you, you buy what, you know what the painting is going to look like. Like you, you, you know what the image is supposed to look like. Um, uh, but then you end up painting it yourself and you're guided along by these numbers and the numbers all correspond to different colors. So there's very little creativity involved for you, but you get to create something that looks really great without really being able to screw up, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna show you right here. This is the latest one that I bought. So this is how it looks. Uh, as you can tell, if you zoom in, there's numbers everywhere. It looks very, it's, it is very, tedious in the beginning because you're literally just looking for the ones and the twos and the threes but it's a nice mindless thing to do after work music in the background maybe a glass of wine uh to unwind um and if you look carefully you can actually already kind of see what this is going to look like this is a street this is a building it's like a lit up cafe at night street light you see this is just background behind the building. The last few that I bought from this website, which is called Craftorio, uh, they look much better on the website. You know, classic marketing there. But uh, I do like the final product at the end of the day. These are the last two that I completed. Clearly, I have a thing for lit up cafes at night. <laughs> rainy, rainy evening aesthetic, right? Uh, what's interesting is the more, the closer you are, like the more you zoom in, the harder it is to really make out what you're looking at, um, which made me very uneasy as I was actually painting these and creating them. But then when you back away, kind of like a Monet painting, you can actually see what's happening. And in retrospect, I actually kind of like that. I like that they're not totally cookie cutter, super intricate. There's dare I say a sloppiness <laughs> to them, like a blurriness that actually kind of has an aesthetic vibe, uh, kind of reminiscent of what they call in art uh, classes, uh, pointillism, right? Where you're not actually doing totally linear, um, you know, geometric shapes. It's, it's more sort of, it, there's a bit of an abstractness, but again, when you zoom out, you really can tell that in this case, these are late night cafes lit up. So um, I really enjoy the final product. I love having artwork at home that uh, looks nice and that I actually, you know, contributed to. Here's a few other ones that I've done in the past. If it's something you want to try out, definitely check it out online. Uh, and yeah, it's a fun little home activity, DIY type activity. Um, again, tedious, but I think it's a really cool result and you can get to, you get to say that you created it yourself. 